jail. Each time I send message to the Palestinian prisoners about combatant for peace, about uh, the struggle, non violence, uh, by nationality struggle, not uh, just Palestinians. It's more than important uh, to struggle alone, Palestinians, people alone. By nationality, for me, it's more than important to struggle by nationality. Palestinians and Israeli against the occupation. And uh, my brother in the jail, he have a, a good idea about combatant for peace. I think in the new process, next two months, it's all these people. We have uh, to release the 550 people in uh, December, all of them in Palestine. I hope in this number we can take a big number to enjoy the non-violent struggle and enjoy eh, combat and forces. Not just in the United States, no but globally, is if we mundo, want to create es que si societies that are peaceful, we need to create the, the infrastructure so that peace is indeed <coughs> possible. We can't just impose mandate a Department of Peace, which has been proposed for years and years and years and never happens in, in I mean, very few countries that have a Ministry of Peace. Um, we need to, to, to really build the, the substructure so that people start to think in another way and then elect those officials who are actually going to imp implement that. But right now, the U.S. economy is, is a war economy, and um, it's driven, and the public sentiment is driven to keep that alive. So, you know, it's, it's hopefully changing, but um, it's changing too slowly for some of us. And the fact that, um, you know, we're going to finally bring our troops home from Iraq is wonderful. We shouldn't have been there in the first place, no but we still have many, too many troops in, in Afghanistan, and, and, you know, there's no end in sight there either. So, um, you know, and I, I, I'm not sure that the sentiment is because people have changed their mind about the rightness of the war so much as because they're weary of the war and weary of paying for the war. Um, so there's, there's just a lot to do. Um, and, and there, uh, this morning we spoke about um, the fact that in the United States there are huge numbers of people, ex-military uh, veterans, um, veterans against the war, Iraq vets against the war, military families speak out. And there's a growing um, volume, a growing number that are people who are um, who are speaking out and, and being heard. Um, I don't think it's heard in the in the press so much. But, um, there are organizations that, that see it for what it is and really do object to the war for all the right reasons. Um, I don't know if that's true here. I don't think uh, it's, it's so important because, uh, because the solution, uh, there are Israelis who uh, are in favor of Israelis one state solution, there are Israelis in the state of two states with the, the solution. And the, state, uh, the Palestinian side, so it's not a matter of uh, nationality. Uh, about uh, diagnosing uh, the conflict, so it's very hard to uh, come to a common ground for what's going on and trying to uh, explain and interpret what's uh, what the history and what happened on Palestine. Uh, so we're not trying Así to no find what's to explain what happened, and we're trying to uh, to change lo que the, ha the present, si no, cambiar el presente, more than dealing with what was in 48 or 68 or who's blamed. Thank you. Gracias.